One of the great innovations over the last few years is following the game of baseball on Baseball Prospectus. Now it's not a, a new website, but certainly one that has exploded. Director of Player Development, all things minor league baseball scouting, Jason Parks, the president and CEO, Joe Hamrahi is with me. For you, obviously, going to see minor leaguers through the fall league, seeing them in instructs and spring training, you're seeing now a few stages earlier when you see them at this tournament. It's incredible here, isn't it? Yeah, I mean it's it's chaotic, but it's a good kind of chaos. It's a it's a it's a controlled chaos. It's a professional chaos. But yeah, it, it allows me to uh, gain a perspective that I wouldn't normally have because I get to see them at this stage of the game, and then I get to follow them into the professional ranks. So I get to see the progression, and that's important when it comes to scouting and player development. Joe, describe the the recent growth in your relationship with Major League Baseball and ML BAM. We had one of their fine writers, Jim Callis, stop by here as well. Uh, describe to those who might not know it the relationship. Yeah, in the beginning of September. We worked on an agreement and we finalized an agreement with Major League Baseball Advanced Media and the guys at MLB.com to work with sharing content, um, partnering on events, doing some really cool things and getting guys like Jim Callis to come to this kind of event where he could see players of a different level and, and take advantage of some of the things we do with Perfect Game as well. Um, it's all about working together in baseball and doing things together at different levels and we're pretty excited about where this is going to go. Some things you can and some things you can't talk about, but the simple, the fact of is over the last three or four years, you guys actually, from your website, from your research, have sent employees to professional baseball to scout uh, at the major league level, at the minor league level, and at the amateur level. That's right. I mean, last year, I mean, this is something we can definitely talk about, is that the guy who had my position, the guy who brought me into this, this field, Kevin Goldstein, he was signed as the director of pro scouting for uh, the Houston Astros. And um, this year, I'm, I'm happy to say that I'm sending two guys from my staff um, two major league teams, one working on the amateur side and one going straight into a pro gig. So this has definitely become a farm system for farm systems. It's funny too, Joe, because as you guys, you know, you talk about your relationship with BAM, but there, there's also the fact that you guys are getting feedback from general managers, from scouting directors saying they use your research. Yeah, it's a great feeling. I mean, we were in contact with teams and front offices every day. Um, you know, all throughout the season and now much more into the off season. We see guys at the winter meetings, we see scouting directors and, and pro scouts and amateur scouts at events like this. Uh, we have events of our own throughout the year, which they all come out to. They listen to our guys first, which is great for us, and then they spend some time talking to the fans and showing what they do to the fans. And it's a fantastic relationship with them. It keeps us motivated and going forward, and, and teams are noticing our guys, and we're really excited about that. And now next for you, next for the side, everybody's excited about it to see what's next for these organizations as you start your research, your phone calls to all of these scouts on, uh, and you build your top tens. Right, I'm about to go into my prospect bunker uh, to emerge hopefully around January to start the new season. Um, putting together the, uh, the top ten list for every team, you know, talking to all my guys who have put eyes on these guys throughout the year, talking to scouts, talking to front office people, finding out what's going on, talking to people that I, I respect in the game, people I don't respect in the game, like the guy who just walked by. Um, it's, it's really, I learned so much during this time of the year that I can actually apply that to when I go to scout because it just informs me so much of what other people are looking at. And so I'm able to extract evaluation tools from people that I speak to on a regular basis. Then finally there's the relationship with Perfect Game. You and I and Mike Farron uh, kind of co-host a radio show. Uh, uh, obviously there, there is the fun that goes on with coming to these events. It's, it's been a nice relationship that BP and PG have. Yeah, we're really, we, we've been thrilled with how this has gone. I mean, not just to mention the fact that we have this great radio show that Darren and you and I co-host with Mike and all the kind of things that we talk about throughout the year. We, we are interacting with you know the scouts on the Perfect Game staff, Todd Gold, Patrick Ebert, David Bronsley. We're doing things all the time. Um, we're getting their opinions. We're sharing our opinions. You know, we like to see players, we like to hear about players, and you know, it's a great start to what we think will be a real long and prosperous, prosperous relationship for all of us. There's a way that baseball used to be covered, then there's the future of how it will be covered, and you'll find it at Baseball Prospectus.